but we can hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Just feel for up and down a bit. Here we have that inhalation open, exhalation round, looking down all the air out through the mouth. Again, inhale, arching open, and exhalation, puff up between your shoulder blades. One more then, inhale, articulation, exhalation, round, 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 all the air out through the mouth. Inhale, neutralize, toes will tuck them. Inhale, pull that tailbone behind you. Exhalation, hover for a moment, elbows out to the side. Now the elbows in your first cobra, easy does it. Two more then, inhale, coming back. Exhalation, hover, deliver, down, down, down. <clears throat> Inhale, reaching open, tailbone down, heart lifts. One more together, inhale. Exhalation, deliver, down. Now into the shoulder blades, open up. Inhalation, return, toes will tuck. Inhale, arching open. And exhalation, away from the shoulder, fingers wide, downward facing. Bend that knee slightly, feet steps together. Right leg going now, pull that right leg back. Lifting, looking forward. Exhale, knee into the forehead, round your spine. Quite, quite a bit. <clears throat> Inhale, open, unfold. Exhalation, round, navel in. Third one, inhale, arching open. Exhalation, round, all the air out through the mouth. Last one, inhale, look forward. Exhale, right foot lunging forward. Tailbone halfway up, inhale. Tailbone down, exhalation, deliver tailbone releases. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, tailbone down. Left hand comes, inhale. Exhale, left hand lengthens forward and up. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, deliver tailbone forward and back. Both hands may be inhale. Exhale, reaching forward, lengthen, lengthen, space above you. Two more, inhale. Tailbone, tailbone down, lengthen, space behind you a bit. Last one, inhale. Find in the midline, tune into the midline behind you, lengthen, lengthen, up behind you a bit. Lengthen forward, releasing into your plank. Low push up, elbows in. Upward facing, inhale. Strong legs, downward facing. Feet steps together, left foot going now. Left leg, inhale, looking forward. Exhale, knee into the forehead, round spine. Inhale, same leg behind you, elevate. Exhale, knee into the forehead, belly in. Third one, inhale. Exhale, belly in, narrow in. Last one, look towards your hands. Lunging, left foot forward. Toes tucking, inhale, halfway up. Tailbone down, exhalation. Right hand comes with you, inhale. Exhale, right hand reaching forward and up. Again, inhale, right hand. Exhale, deliver, tailbone down, reaching right hand skyward. Left hand follows, inhale. Pick the navel up and out of your hip. See if you can go for another length up there. Two more, inhale. Go slowly, the slower you are, the more patient and strength in the quiet you get to train, right? Inhale, beginning, middle, ending of that breath. Exhale, beginning, middle, ending of that breath. Looking for that space above and maybe a little behind you, reaching, reaching. One more deep breath from into that back leg. Lengthen forward first. Step it forward. 
in front of you. Forward shoulder, down, down, down. Nice full circle, inhale, open. Firm into the legs. Exhalation, hands to your heart. Horizontal intention out to the side. If I am not for myself, who will be? Exhalation, returning. But if I am only for myself, then who am I? Commitment time, exhalation. And if not now, then when? Right knee on the off the floor, lunging back. Firming into the midline, beginning, middle, ending of that breath. Soften back to the midline, firming of that back leg. Right palm down, left hand, lower knee on the off the floor. Inhale slowly so that you train your patience so that you train your inner strength. Exhalation, beginning, middle, no rush, and the other breath. Inhale, firm now, from your wrist to your elbows, to your upper arms, to the shoulder, flexibility in our rib cage. Elongate, make a point to align your wrist to wrist. Find that subtle alignment, pleasure in taking that alignment awareness on your way down, lowering that rib cage down. Third one, inhale, rise, elevate, elevate, elevate. Exhale, left foot forward. Reversing a warrior, right hand, inhale. Left hand follows, exhalation. Behind you, look, inhale, left. Navel seals, square of the head, exhale. Left leg behind. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, dive. Elbows in. Remember, slower the better. Inhale, arching. Open heart. So all that hip flexor opening you've been working on. Downward facing. Three steps together. Right leg, inhale. Warrior one, exhalation. Beginning, middle, ending of that breath. Midline, beginning, middle, ending of that breath. Rise, warrior three, beginning, time yourself. Synchronize, wait for the breath, navel seals, exhalation, beginning, middle, to really be at one with your breath, with your midline. Most importantly, with your feet into the earth, we shall descend. And that will give you the uprightness. Exhalation, midline. Beginning of the breath. Middle of the breath. Ending of that breath. Left leg lunging back. Inhale. Lower knee on off the floor. On foam. Exhalation, lowering down. Left hand under the shoulder. Inhale, right arm, firming into that lower elbow. Round your spine, puff up. Exhalation, beginning. Awareness in that alignment on your way down. Awareness of that lower wrist, lower arm, elbows, shoulders, round spine. Go up first, go up first before you drape on your way down. Third one, inhale, elevate, space then above you. Navel in, right foot, take forward. Left hand, inhale, open. Right hand follows, exhalation. Look towards your right arm. 
Inhale, right. Squaring of the hip. Exhale, left. Squaring of the hip. Inhale, right. Open heart. Elbows in, dive it. Elbows in. Inhale, arch it. Open. Firm legs, downward facing. Left leg, chin in. Behind you. Slow down the breath, please. Warrior one, exhalation. Beginning of the breath, middle of the breath, ending of that breath. Midline, navel in beginning, middle, rise on that inhalation. Seal that navel in first. On your way back, your midline has been faithfully waiting for you already. Once you return, full circle, inhale, heels of your feet off the floor. Mm, exhalation, returning. Right foot, inhale, elongate up there. Exhalation. For your practice, you should be able to go up quite a bit. And exhalation now. Third one, ascend first before you go to that side. Exhalation, your tree pose above or beneath the knee. Full circle, navel in, inhale. Seal the navel in. Exhalation, midline, returning, coming down. Inhale, firm into that lower leg, unfold. Navel seals, if you can, bend that standing leg a little bit. See if you can have connection to that lower root. Last one, inhale, unfold. Exhalation, we'll open, warrior three. Right leg behind you, lengthen into the space in front of you. One more deep breath, take now lunging back. Right knee off the floor. Inhale, full circle. Exhalation, lowering down. Right knee on off the floor. Left hand, inhale, puff up. Exhalation, deliver, down, down, down. Inhale, round, open. Elongate before you come down. Third line, inhale. Left foot, reversing warrior. This sequence you know. Inhale, exhale. From the navel, circle that hand. Left leg, keep the left knee bending. Behind you, look underneath that left arm. Stay here, keep spinning that ribs away from the shoulder. One more deep breath. Half wheel people, take that foot behind you. Left hand skyward. Inhale. Left hand behind you. Exhalation. Inhale, left hand. Exhalation. Left foot lunging forward. Right? Inhale. One of both hands. This one you did before. Exhalation. Reaching, reaching into the space above you. Now stay here, can we? Pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. Finding that breath, lengthen forward first. Press into the front foot. Right foot away from the shoulder. Vertical extension. Fingers onto the ground. Halfway forward, inhale. Exhalation, bend elbows, shoulders down. Stay here. Or take your right hand underneath that right ankle. See if that can, you can have a brace back of that left ankle. Find breath, find elongation, articulation of that upper leg. Deepen that inhalation, halfway up. Exhale, square the hip, releasing lower knee towards the floor. 
tailbone forward, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, descending down. Next stage, up and down with the foot. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. Continue with this one. Some of you, left hand to your inner ankle, right? Gentle pulsation. See if you can have a little mobility here. Next stage, shoulder, look, torso up and down. See if you can mobilize the upper region. Use this mobility to test where are you in relationship with this one. It is a cross spine. Okay, next stage. Can you catch hold of the top of the toes rather than your inner, than your ankle? Catch the toes. Now, a little bit invitation. Can we invite that foot to come? Some of you invite the foot as well as your body forward and down, right? It's whichever part of your body that is willing to work with you. Now, this articulation should be there. Torso articulation should be there. Deepen that breath. Exhalation, can I have you? You're in a slightly twist, yes, but start to gauge forward. Find the midline. Whatever you do, please be sure there's safety in that back knee. Right. One more deep breath, stay here. Relax into that tailbone. Some of you right hand skyward. Deepen that breath. Inhalation, exhalation, release. Flexion of the front foot, squaring of the hands to compensate everything we just did. Mobility of that front ankle, shaking, shaking, shaking. Oscillation in that head, release, release, release. Halfway up, inhale. Through the mouth, forward fold, shoulders down, release, release, release. Stay here. If the body needs to go deeper, find foot forward. Some of you, you've been working on these ones, and that is also appropriate. Straight leg people, your ability to mobilize that front leg. This one is important. Same thing like you did your mobility in your hip arrangement. Freedom in the motion in your hip is also important. Back ankle is nice and straight. Front ankle mobility is at hand. Press into the fingers, inhale, elevate. Sternum as you draw your shoulders down, look up. Forward folding, walk your fingers. Forward, shoulders will release, chin goes down. Come to that place where you can feel a little bit of an oscillation, sort of like you're meandering your body down. A little circle with your tongue. If that's not possible, do it with your lips. Right, inhale through that little circle, cooling breath. Month of June, you want to establish all your pranayama, your breathing techniques. Ideally, this time. Exhale, all the air out through the mouth. The end of that exhalation, hold breath, pull your belly and chin in. Squeeze, hold, no breath. And through that little circle, inhale. Hold, hold, relax your neck, hold. Through your mouth, exhalation, all the air out through the mouth. Keep the torso as low as you can get it. One more. Inhale through that little circle. Hold breath at the end of that inhalation. Through your nostril now, eight counts. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold breath, exhale all the rest of it. 
Next inhalation, use your hands. Gently, gently walk your hands to return. Front foot comes to the floor. Okay, ready? Ground into the front foot. Left hand stays down. Right arm behind you. Bending of the right knee. You had this one before. Please make sure that back knee is in the same place. Also the safety of that front knee as well. Okay, inner ankle you should connect. Find it. If it doesn't connect, just work with this one. Remember? Okay, if it connects, first two fingers around the big toes. Deep breath. Exhalation. Maneuver the body forward or take your foot forward. If this is not too much for your right leg, your hip flexor, your right shoulder, invite the foot to come in. Okay. If the foot doesn't want to move, motion your body instead. If you don't need the support of your left hand, face forward, left hand skyward. There's your crescent lunge. Find breath, deepen that breath. Look skyward if that body allows. Exhalation, lengthen. Release first, ground into the front foot. Right leg behind you, verticals standing. That's your inhale, look forward and up. And exhale, halfway down with your leg. External rotation, right foot out, inhale. Exhale, down. Inhale from the back to the front and coming back. Third one, inhale, circle. Exhale, feet together. Inhale, pull that right leg back, out. Circle back, exhale. Roll that hip, strain your leg. Exhalation. Third one, inhale. Feet, to get, uh, feet apart, hip distance apart. Left hand rise, inhale. Firming into the legs on the bottom up. Now your quad, now your core. Exhale, right hand follows. Standing back then. Behind you. Go slowly. Firming into your legs, inhale. Exhale. Important to have your leg engagement. Just don't go down too deep. If your legs are not ready yet, right hand and inhale. Use your legs, use your core. Left hand follows you. Stabilize your legs every step of the way. No rush. So you train strength and you train your patience. Left hand, right hand, feet steps together. Gentle pulsation, boom, 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 boom. Neutralize and harmonize. Soften into your feet again. Left leg. First one, feel ascending line. Exhale. Then you find your strength coming out as high as the body allows, okay? coming down. The slower you delivered, no rush. The more confident the strength you build. Exhalation. Third one, learn to ascend. Otherwise there's really a lot of tension in here. Okay? Push out as well as you lift up. Coming back, you have three. Up above the knee or beneath the knee. Stabilize. Do you have very subtle mobility in your hip here? Articulation in your root, in your toes. Three circles, navel seals already. Inhale, spread your wings. Who will be if you're not for yourself? Who will be? Think about it. And if I'm only for myself, what is then left of me? if there's only me here. Lastly, most important question, if not now, 
<laughs> then when to spread your wings out to the side, you come to your warrior three. Fine breath. Exhalation, bend down front knee. High lunge. It's a very deliberate articulation. Open. Exhalation, midline. Back leg has been prepared to come to your side plank. Inyasa here, one, inhale, coming up. Reaching high, exhalation, inhale, arc it. Reaching high before you come down. Inhale, navel in, exhale, coming down. Last one, inhale, exhale, right foot. Lunging our foot forward. Right. Inhale, halfway forward. Exhalation, lowering torso, down, down, down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhalation, deliver that tailbone forward and down. Palms will be parallel. Right leg comes now behind the tree. Bend that right knee, pivot the gaze underneath the right arm. Inhale, knee high. Exhale, right foot behind you. Let that foot. Right hand skyward. Inhale, open. Right hand behind you. Inhale, run. Exhalation, right foot. Lunging for them forward. Tailbone halfway up. Exhalation, deliver, tailbone forward down. Ground into the right foot. Exhalation, front foot ground, left leg behind you. Hands are parallel, halfway up, inhale. Hip alignment awareness, exhale, bend your elbows. Keep your hands there or brace your right ankle with your left hand. Look down, chin in, like you're looking towards your navel, like you're looking for your upper foot. One more deep breath. Exhale, bend that front knee. Deliver, lowering down. Legs and halfway up, exhalation. Some of you take both hands skyward. Buoyancy in the hip flexor, okay? Legs and legs in. Engagement into that back ankle. Forward first, lowering of your hands. Fingers down, gently gyrate the ribcage to that right side. Okay. First articulation is this one. Up and down with that back shin. Next articulation, right hand swings behind you to your inner ankle. A little bit of twist. Okay, inhale, elevate a bit. Exhale, tailbone forward. Yeah. From here, can we look over towards your right shoulder, towards your right elbow? Check it, check it. What part of the body is willing to mobile itself forward? Is it the torso or is it still the back leg? Whichever the willing party is, you articulate those areas first. Next stage is this one. Invitation for that left leg to come into the region of your upper leg. If the body allows, take it by the toes, the upper edge of your toes. Exhale, bend that right elbow. Take the foot in. Inhale and exhale. Easy does it. If the torso is willing to sink together, that will be a wonderful thing on your own now. So make sure that you're going down on your exhalation. There is a slight pivot to the right side, right? And however deep you go, make sure your breath is with you. Eventually the foot comes to the hip. Exhalation, release. 
Compensate by swaying of your hip, flexion of the front ankle. Halfway forward, inhale. Navel in, pull that right hip back already on your way down, shoulders down. Halfway forward. Mobility in that front ankle, front leg is important. Mobility in that hip is important. Staying in this station, option two here. Option three, we go away from the shoulder. Reaching, reaching as you aim for awareness in that alignment in that front foot, press into the front foot. Same thing, your mobility in that front leg is important. Mobility in your hip. Be really honest, it might take you a lot longer to get there, but you don't injure yourself along the way. And you always are cultivating a healthy habit to be taking pleasure in that beautiful refinement of your body that alignment of refinement. Come as forward as the body allows. Inhale then, halfway up. Go to that first edge on your way down. This right hip now has a bit of a clicking action going on that right hip, right? Come to that place where you can oscillate gently, where you can navigate deeply. A little circle with your lips, if that's not possible, do it with your tongue. Do that little circle then, inhale, breathe. And exhalation through your mouth, all the air out through the mouth. Then inhale, breathe. Through the mouth, exhalation, all the air out through the mouth. Last one, that circle again. Through your nostril, eight counts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold, belly in, no breath. Relax first. Next inhalation, gently. Press into then your front foot again. Tailbone going forward. You've been working on your hip flexor articulation for quite a long time now. Do whatever you need to do to take care of it. Otherwise, we go right hand down, left hand behind you, left hand to the left foot, inner ankle. If this doesn't happen, just work on this one, okay? Now, while you're doing these lunges, I think the general tendency is people, this is when people learn to um, navigate with a misalignment of the hip. Right? You might get there faster, but you really are doing your body a disfavor. So the ability to square your hip before you work on these guys. Okay? So just be humble, just be patient. Along the way, as long as you're training your patient, you are training your inner strength. And what could be more important than your inner strength and your pain that's being brewed, articulated by your patients. Okay, some of you don't need the hand anymore. Look forward, right hand skyward. Now there's your lunge. Deepen that breath. Lengthen first. Exhalation, releasing back leg down. Ground into the front foot, lengthen again. Left leg behind you. Reaching open, exhalation, left, left foot halfway down. Remember, left foot out to the side, flexion of the ankle. Exhale down. From behind you, inhale, circle. Internal rotation, exhale. Inhale, push that foot out. Exhale. Third, last one, inhale. Exhale, reverse, inhale. Exhale. No rush, external rotation. Exhale. External rotation, exhale. 
One more external rotation. Feet hit the sense of heart. Right hand first. Inhale. Standing tall, standing straight, standing really firm. Before we go, left hand follows. Back bend, standing back bend. Looking towards your left hand if the body allows. Inhale, arc it. Left hand. Exhale, right hand. Inhale, surging up from the bottom up like the root of the tree, the sap of the tree. Right hand follows you. Looking towards your right hand, please. Follow that right hand. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Again, inhale. Left, right. Exhale, left. Can you go a little slower? That means you know already how to hang on to your breath every step of the way. You are now letting go so fast. Same thing, inhale, hold, inhale, hold, inhale, hold, inhale, hold, inhale, all the rest of it. Exhalation, right hand will follow you. Inhale, left. Slow down the exhale. Exhale, right. Exhale, hold. Exhale, hold. Exhale, hold. Exhale, all the rest of it. Inhale, hold. Inhale, hold. Inhale, hold. Exhale, feet together. All the rest of it. Midline. Invisible thread in hand. Exhalation. Settle down in the way you can manage to manipulate your breath. Inhale. Exhalation. Third inhale. I'm going to slow you down. Exhale. Still exhaling. Shift, inhale, you're transitioning between that twilight space. Inhale, navel seals, descend, bend that lower leg. Inhale, exhale. Sorry, I'm gonna have to hold you here a bit. <laughs> But you're already on to you. Seal your core, please. Leg strength now is no longer just your flexibility. Combination of that complete, utterly centeredness to complete that whole yearning where you need to travel wide, you need to travel really far before you return. Exhalation. If you're feeling a little heat coming up from your practice, see if you can keep it right here. First, you learn to keep it here. Learn, then you learn to keep it here. Later, you learn to keep it here. Exhale. Release. Full circle, heels of your feet off the floor. Glorious sun you become, which means Patience, <laughs> patience. Exhalation. Like you're taking that golden shower from the heavens, trickle down, down, down. Left hand takes your thread. Your ability to connect in this unseen level to that invisible thread. It's the same thread, that same notion that guides you along the journey of life, right? That is the one that you connect to through your practice. You use the practice to deepen, to enhance your connection to that thread that will guide you through the labyrinth of life, that will give you the direction back to the source we will return.
slowly inhale, have patience. Open. Think about it in between breath. Measure things, think about things. That is your meditation. Ideally, it's a meditation in movement when you practice your asanas. One more inhale. Train your core, please. Recently, you've done, what did you do? Two breaths in one minute. You remember early on this week, on Tuesday, Thursday, two minutes in one, two breaths in one minute. Okay. Inhale, elevate again. Heels of your feet off the floor. Solar plexus, heart, arms out to this side. Lean forward. Toes are activated, shoulders down, forward folding. Inhale, halfway up. Step or glide back, like low push up. Inhale, upward facing. Exhalation, downward facing. Ankle steps together, right leg behind you. Inhale, right knee out to the side. Coming through, exhale, right leg back. Back to your legs, inhale, right knee forward, internal rotation, exhale. Third one, inhale. This should start to feel rather easy. Opposite, right knee forward, exhale. Belly in, inhale, right leg. Exhale, coming through, inhale, right leg. Exhale, come through. One more external rotation. Half wheel behind you, that's your exhale. Right hand inhale, puff up. Exhale, right hand behind you. Inhale, right. Pigeon, right foot forward. Yes, squaring of the hip. Elevate that hip if you need to. Eventually that right knee will be perpendicular to the floor. Right now is whatever you need to do to settle down that hip to find hip alignment. Some of us bracing that shin in will be a little easier to sit. Please favor that. However you are, bring that hip up a bit higher. Clicking that right hip back before you settle down. Fingers down, inhale halfway, lifting forward. Exhalation, shoulders down, reaching, shoulders, release, release, lowering of the torso. Inhale, halfway up, coming to the right side. That's your exhalation. Halfway down, how about bending of your elbows? How about mobilize your right elbows and spin the rib cage direction to your right side. That is your exhalation. Mm -hmm. Stay here, but some of you coming down, lowering your body down, makes a bit more sense than you keep the torso down. However you are, feel the elongation along your left side, then you want to breathe into that whole left side, including the hip flexor on that left side. Deepen that breath. When the exhalation comes, bend your elbows, guide yourself to your right even a bit more. Okay, inhalation, neutralize. Walking, walking all the way to your left side. If the elbows can come to the arch of the right foot, you have your twist like this. Keep the torso up a bit. Option two, keep your hands down and you sort of use the mobility of your elbows to usher the body out to the side on your left. Okay, option, another option is this one, look. Tractioning, opening, get mobility here first. 
This is also another traction you've been working on recently, all the waistline hip flexor stuff. Those of you who were here on Thursday, right? Okay, whatever you need to do, some of you are here, find breath. So as always, deeper the more twisting you are, the harder it is to breathe. That means settle down your mind a little more. One more inhale, exhalation, neutralize. Okay, bending of that front knee. Take your shin in a bit. Elevate that hip a bit. Clicking that right hip back. Just double checking, double checking. Stage one, up and down. Already, stage two, left hand back, right? So stage one is your hand articulation, articulating that foot forward, bring that foot forward. Next stage is your foot, look, the foot that's taking your hand behind you. Mm -hmm. If this starts to happen, your foot starts to gain articulation. I hope all your leg strings articulation has been working for you. Then you work with both hands. Look, if your leg is willing to do the job, which is much more preferable because your legs are bigger than your arm. Look forward, you take both hands back. Here's a preparation for your king pigeon. Finding that breath. The stronger the pose, the more midline navigation, much stronger. And exhalation, releasing of that back leg. Once you release, let's have you tucking that back toes under, firming of the back knee off the floor. Again, that adds into your hip flexor extension. Okay? Finding that breath, deeper that inhalation, Keep that back knee nice and firm. Exhalation, right leg straight behind you. One leg downward facing. Inhale, look forward. Then the elbows, square the hip coming down. Low push up. Inhale, open. Downward facing. Feet together, return. Left leg behind. Inhale, left knee. Internal rotation. Exhale behind you. Internal rotation. Exhale behind you. Third one, inhale. Exhale, straight leg. Inhale, square of the hip. Exhale, left knee forward. Inhale to your left. Exhale, coming through. Inhale, left. Exhale. One more out to your left. Half wheel exhalation. Left hand skyward. That's your inhale. Left hand behind you. Exhalation. Inhale left. Pigeon left foot forward. Hip down. Mobility in that hand. Turn your gaze, make sure that back leg is straight. Hands are parallel. Elevate your hip just one more time. Can we click that left hip back? That articulation is super important. In most of your asymmetrical poses, if not everything. Fingers then, walking the fingers forward. Halfway down so you can kind of test yourself. Do I have hip articulation? Can I breathe deeply? If so, go forward. If not, please reposition that front shin, reposition your hip, elevate your hip onto a blanket if you need. Deepen that breath, halfway up. Fingers forward, take your whole body with you, down, down, down. Shoulders will come in. Inhale, halfway up. Left side, exhalation. Lowering down, or keep a little height. 
Sometimes if you keep a little height, you can bend your left elbow and induce a little more mobility for your spine to learn how to be flexible again, right? You do want to twist on your exhalation. Please don't force. Use the motion of your elbows to help you. It's like your elbows in, is inviting the body. It's enticing the rib cage and say, come over here. Next inhalation, I'm gonna neutralize, hands forward. Going to your right side now. Walk your hands out to the right side. If your left elbow can come to the arch of the foot, you have your lunge like this. Position your elbow over that foot. Otherwise, put both hands down and use the mobility of your elbows, your body to usher the torso forward to your right side. One of the things you can help your body is these ones. If you can, put a little weight onto that left side. Remember that mm, spiralic notion to open up that left hip. Use your exhalation to twist and turn, please, all the way to the right. So while you're navigating, find the fullness of the breath. The whole right side of the body gets the breath, right? One more inhale. Exhalation, neutralize. Fingers at them. Press into the finger. See if that can give you the traction to surge up. That means shoulders needs to come downward. One more deep breath into the rib cage. And exhale, fold that front chin in a bit. Bending of the right leg. Right hand takes hold of the foot. Gently now, guide that leg forward and back a bit. Almost like you're asking the torso to take advantage of its weight. This one first. Next one is this articulation. Hand to the foot. Hand can pull the foot in by the foot in. Next articulation is this one, where your foot is decisively pulling out hand, using the foot to articulate this strength. Yeah, it's your leg. Stay here. Some of you, if the footwork is mature, you grab your foot, your ankle with both hands, both hands behind you and you're at the mercy of the strength articulation of that back leg. Looking forward or look up. Your back leg is responsible because it's bigger. Look at the difference between its size compared to the arm. Use the back foot to pull now. Preparation to later enter to your king cobra. Deepen that breath. Exhalation, release. In between these practices, back toes tucking, lower knee off the floor. This version is very similar to all these versions that you've been working on, hip flexor. Right? Finding deep breath, hands up down. This transition, can you make it as slow as possible? That means your core really needs to behave nice and strong. Inhale, look forward in front of you. Square of your hip, please. Firm your elbows in, exhale, slowly, please. No rush, coming down. Inhale, open. Mm, exhale, returning, downward facing. Deepen that breath, bend knees, exhale, glide the feet into your straddle, halfway forward. Bend your elbows, shoulders down, crown goes down. Walk your hands away from your head. Stay here. Finding that breath. 
One heel off the floor. Another heel off the floor. One heel off the floor. Starting to get your legs a bit acquainted with its articulation. Notice how much you gotta fire up your lower back and your core articulation while you're here because it's so uh, inconvenient to lift that leg, right? Inhale, halfway up. Hands under the shoulder. Narrow your feet into your squat. <laughs> Coming down. Ideally, your feet are parallel, ideally. Ideally, you have mobility in your ankle. Palms are down. Ideally, you don't need your hands if that is so. Palms together, use your elbow. Give a little encouragement for your legs to use. Stay here if you're just working on the squat, meaning that you are going for tailbone down, uprightness of the spine. Okay, next stage, palms under the uh, parallel. Ankle steps together. Okay, puff up as you round your spine. Knee into the armpit, drop that tail down. Okay, hey, stay here for me, deep breath. When you exhale, hang on. Your exhalation, what you're doing is this. Half up between your shoulder blades as you pull your balance in. Absolutely. In all your arm balances, that's what's happening in your exhalation. So, Exhale, pull your belly in round. Okay, hey, stay here. Crow people, one foot off the floor, another foot off the floor. Drop your tail as low as you can. Okay, find breath. Okay, option one, come to your squat. Squat people, look. Play with your hands down, play with your hands off the floor. Whenever you need to release, Lengthen your legs and come down. Crow people, go onto your crown. Let's play with your toes together into your headstand. Legs together, ideally, for today. Some of you, legs apart is a little easier. Headstand people, please check your elbows. Headstand people, stay. Headstand people, can you do your tree pose upside down? Headstand people, switch your tree pose, second side. Headstand people, straddle feet. Everybody join us now. Straddle your feet out to the side. Inhale, headstand people, lend your feet. Join us then, everyone, halfway forward. Deep breath. Exhale, bend your elbows, shoulders down, release. Arching torso, halfway forward to the right side. Flexion of your left ankle, lying down. Left hand over the right ankle. Come to your seat. Right arm over that top ear. Deep breath to your left side. Have a strap, if not your hand to foot. However you are, mobility of your right elbow is important. Look towards your right elbow and breathe. Your right foot is nice and square. Find that breath into the whole left side of the rib cage. Inhalation deeply. Exhalation, ground into the right foot. Release the bind on your way into your forward fold. Stay here for a moment. Right hand forward in front of you. Coming down, bend the elbows. Reverse shoulders, reverse your elbows. Hands behind you, otherwise use your strap. Inner legs, inhale, bring that torso halfway up. Exhale, chin in, shoulders down, forward fold, and stay. Mm -hmm. 
Eventually, crown will come to the floor. Deepen that breath. Inhale, returning. Exhalation, left hand high. You've been working on this one. First two fingers around the big toes. Right hand, catch hold of your inner foot or first two finger around your big toes. Ready, pick up your telephone. <laughs> foot becomes your telephone towards your ear. Fine breath. Before you release, give your right leg a little encouragement to go down into the space behind you a little bit. We'll come back to this one. Right foot sets down. Can you, is your core engaged enough for you to release without the help of your hand? We go to the second side. Come to your seat. Right hand in front of your left ankle. Left arm, skyward. Exhalation, coming then, right side. That's your exhalation. Strap or your foot. Strap people, you have these guys. How about look over towards your left elbow? How about mobility of your upper elbow? How about let yourself go into the space behind you a bit? Be okay with gravity. Feel like you've been invited back there. That's your exhale. Stay here with your rib cage flipped open and breathe. So in the future, when you hear me call, flip the rib cage skyward, this is it. Even though it might not always feel this dramatic, but this is the action. Eyes closed so you can remember it. Use your breath to remember it. Flipping that rib cage open. Release the bind first. Use your core to return. That's your inhale. Keep your left arm well extended because that's once you release your lower hand, left arm is gonna go forward in front of you. Bend your elbows, cross front of your shin, reversing of your elbows. Fingers will find each other. Connect your hands or use your strap. Use your strap to connect. However you are, press into your lower foot. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chin in, coming down. Again, inhale, make space. Exhalation, go into that space. It might need to take a little bit of meandering navigation. Whatever you need to do, Release, release, shoulders down, letting go, letting go. You can also use the articulation of that right foot to entice you to come down a bit. Inhale, releasing of the bind, torso coming up. Right hand, first two fingers, crossing hold of your big toe. Ideally, left hand also big toe. Some of you holding the foot is a little easier to handle. Yeah, this one, pick up your telephone. Hello, hello. <laughs> Who's calling here? Deep breath. It's very classic, this pose. It's totally inconvenient, I know it. <laughs> Exhalation, release. Totally nonsensical and inconvenient, I know it. But it's a classic pose, so I feel like I ought to show, show it with you. Nice full circle, inhale. Exhalation, toss those fingers forward, shoulders down, release. Inhale, halfway up. Bend your elbows, shoulders down, lowering over the torso. Inhale, halfway up. How about first two fingers around the big toes now? Inhale, extension, arching. Through the sternum as you look up. Exhale, bend your knee. Hang on, this thing that you're doing with your spine, can you maintain this thing while you go up now this way? 
try that. Right. Let's go this one first. Bend your knee. Of course, this is your core that gives you this articulation. Lean the head back if you can trust your core. Find breath. And if you can still trust your core, look, we're going here. Fingers together, point your toes. Your feet are like shoulder stem legs. Deepen that breath. Okay, watch here for your next transition. From here, you came from this thing. I'm going to ask you to close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open. Few sets together. Okay, so from here to this one, deep breath. Exhale down, close, reverse. Up and down on your own now. If you really don't have time to do your shoulder stand, like right now, I'm trying to give you similar effect without the whole shoulder stand thing. You can do this one. Up and down, up and down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, shake it, shake it, shake it. At your very end, I'm going to hold you here. Not a shoulder stand, not a club, but you're inverted upside down. Forward bending upside down. Use your hand to invite your toes to come down. Or use your arm to invite your legs to come down. Hang on one second here. While you're here, I'm gonna ask you to wiggle, wiggle your lumbar region. Often you do these wiggle, wiggle with me here. Like your little bear rubbing up against the tree. Can you deliver that same articulation while you're here? But do it on your lumbar region. Wiggle, wiggle a bit like you're rubbing up against the tree. Finding that motion that you can elongate your spine a little more. Okay, exhalation, gently, slowly, lower back first, lowering of your feet, right knee into the body. Keeping that right knee inward. Okay, uh, let's do this one real quick. Can I just show it to you uh, first? Okay, looks like this. First, you work on, let's say you're lying on your back. We go into this guy first, right? Opposite limbs. And then I'm gonna ask you to release that leg, going into a spinal twist. Spinal twist, people, some of you work on taking a hold of your lower ankle here. Exactly what you've been working on today. All these ones that you've been working on today, you come here and some of you end up here. Okay. So let's try. Right knee into the torso, left hand to the outer foot. Use a strap if you need to. Right foot in your hand, exhalation or in your strap. Thread your head between the arm and the leg out to the side. Deep breath. Do whatever you need to do. Use your right hand to assist you, please. When you exhale, can you press that foot into your hand or into the strap? How about that lower leg? Can you press that lower leg away as well? Next exhalation, take that foot upstairs. Take that foot to your left. You have spinal twists. Turn, turn, turn. Look over to your right hand. Reposition that lower leg so you feel comfortable that you can start to play with maybe bending of that lower knee. If that is so, bend that lower knee. Grab hold of the ankle. If you have had enough dilemma in practice already, just leave that lower leg straight. Relax the lower leg down. 
Deep breath. Uh, if you're holding on to that back foot, please be extra mindful with your shoulder, right? That you're always aware of the safety of that shoulder work. One more inhale. And exhalation very gently. Neutralize back to the center. Once you come back, right leg will be straight, hugging that left knee. Have a nice hold of it. Right hand over the outer foot. Bend that knee out. Give an extra strap if you need. Left foot out to the side. Right arm over the ear. Thread the head between the arm and the leg. Ideally, that lower leg is super straight. Both legs, both feet knows how to push itself away from the navel. Inhale deeply. Exhalation, Benani. Walk the left foot to your right. Press that foot away from the navel, straighten that leg. Reposition your lower leg, lower hip, right hip is under the left. Stay or bend that lower knee. Take hold of the lower ankle if the body is ready. Hand to ankle people, mindful of that left shoulder, please. Deep breaths into the left side of that rib cage, out the edge of the left hip. Make that breath almost endless. One more deep inhalation. Exhale, slowly we release. Okay. Once you release, neutralize. Walk the feet underneath your knees, almost like your bridge position. Okay, shifting that tailbone just slightly halfway up or even just one third of the way up. Can you gyrate that tailbone side to side? A little gyratory motion to harmonize the right and left side of your hip. If the body needs to get into a little spiral or a figure eight kind of navigation to rebalance the right and the left side of your hips, please do so. Whatever you do at the very end, curl that tailbone away from, your, away from the ground, elongate the sacrum before you release that. Extension of your feet out to the side. In the lacing of your fingers here for a moment. Exhale, push your wrist line skyward. While you're there, draw your chin in. Lift your shoulder blade just like half inch off the floor as you look to the navel. Push your heels of your hands up skyward. Now release them, arms out to the side. Take a moment to flatten your shoulder blades underneath your underneath your ribs and go ahead and release. While you're here, one more awareness, like you're talking to your fingers, like you're talking to your toes, just one more time before you release them down. So again and again, we come back to The fullness of the breath again. Inhalation there is deep and long. Exhalation is slow, slow and complete.
Start to make the breath a little thinner, a little lighter. Relax the jaw, relax the back of your throat. Soften your facial muscles completely, completely let go. A stronger practice today, so really find that quiet moment. Let the body reharmonize and assimilate everything. I think of you when I watch the sunset glitter on the sea. I think of you when the stream mirrors the shimmering moon. I see you when the dust rises on the distant road and in deep night when the way wayfarer trembles on the narrow footbridge. I hear you in that dull roaring of rising waves. In the still grove, I often walk and listen when all is silent. I am beside you, however far away you may be, you are near me. The sun sinks, soon the star will shine above me. Would you were here? Oh, how I think of you. Fullness of the breath, awareness to the fullness of the breath. Exhalation is a part of you out into the world. Inhale the fullness of life through the pores of your skin, through your nostrils, through your conscious awareness. Allow that beautiful life, the essence of life to enter. Exhalation, there's a particle of you, a particle of me out into the world. Inhale, all the beautiful thing that you can think about all the good nourishment that you need, you bring that into your field. An exhalation, a little spark of you out into the world. A breath to breath, moment to moment awareness. And gently awareness to your hands and your feet. Awareness that inhale, drawing your knees in. Exhalation. Take a moment to return, coming back to your seat. Okay. Just take a moment, wiggle, wiggle yourself back into the upright. Full circle there on full. Midline, nice close, settle inward again. Inhale, beauties on my right, on my left, beauties before and behind me, beauties above me, exhalation within me, beauties beneath me. Inhale, the fullness, the brightest, even the loudest, the most courageous aspect of our existence. You connect to that. Midline, the quietest, the smallest, the shyest, the most even insignificant part of your existence. You acknowledge to that. One last one, finally is you can manage to harmonize all that, assimilate all that, remember all that. Acknowledgement for our time together. 
Have a wonderful Sunday. I see you very soon. Thank you, everybody, for staying through the course. You made it. Happy Sunday. See you next time.